I was just thinking about why it is that people become Republicans or become Democrats, why people become neophiles or neophobes. And I imagine that most of it would be from during our childhoods, what kind of thinking benefited us the most to get out of negative situations, to deal with negative situations? What kind of thinking benefited us the most? And this can, I mean, this isn't just the way someone is raised at home. It could be a whole number of situations they happen to be in. But what kind of thinking benefited someone the most? If you have to be very structured in your thinking, and you, there's a lot of memorization, there's a lot of tradition, and those things getting you through, no matter whether your parents are liberal or conservative, really makes no difference. It's the way that you, you learn to react to situations, right? Of course, this is all what I am assuming things work like. I could be wrong on, on, on this. I'm not trying to, you know, this is just stuff that I'm thinking about right now. So I think there's a certain amount of this that would be genetic, um, being a neophobe and a neophile. Just as there are genetic elements to a lot of stuff, a lot of biological elements to a lot of stuff, those things aren't nearly as strong <clears throat> as a culture or the way that someone is raised and what situations they go through as a child. For myself, creative thinking is what got me through. It was the only way to retain any sort of sanity for me. In that regard, there's some, there's probably some genetic elements, but that kind of thinking does not bode well with sheer memorization and tradition. They just, it just doesn't bode well. Uh, musically, as soon as I, I would figure out how something works, I was trying to find a way to do it differently. That's my big thing. What's, what is a different approach to a situation? How can I look at this differently than what's, what's already established? Between two sides, usually. You know, what, what's a different approach? You know, if it looks like there's two sides to an issue, well, what if there's a third? And usually, if you dig enough, you can find a third way. So I usually say there's at least three sides to every issue. <laughs> um, I remember when I was taking a, a business 101 class, and at the time, I, I, oh, I failed it miserably. Oh, oh, badly. Badly. I was so, I, 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 had, I had just no concept of business at all. I mean, at all. When I was in college, just no idea how business worked. Was never taught it. They didn't really teach it in school in any sort of significant way, and they, I certainly didn't get any of it home. So yeah, I, I failed that. But, uh, so the second time I took it, <laughs> um, this teacher wanted us to do some f physical experiment just to see how people work together and teamwork and things like that. And then she would uh, notate down which team used this method or whatever. And it was trying to use, find a way to have, to have pieces of paper go the most, you know, had the highest up. So I said, well, in my team, I said, well, what, let, let's, take, uh, let's take these pieces of paper and hang them from the, the ceiling uh, thing. They got this little vent that you could just kind of, there's a certain way you could bend the paper to make it stay up there. And we'll just build it, you'll just make it hang down from the ceiling. And of course, and then, then what was talked about at that point were the different methods and um, that the creative methods uh, will will either work great or it'll just fail miserably, you know. And uh, but I'll just always have that little 
stupid memory out of a a silly uh, physical test that was being done. Um, musically, though, I, I like to do things that are not commonly done. And it's why it just really pisses me off when there's someone that tr that's, that does not create music who says that everything that could have already been done has been done. You can't really make anything new. I'm like, oh, fuck you. <laughs> Just fuck you. <laughs> really. Seriously, from, from the bottom of my heart, fuck you. If that's the kind of shit you preach, yeah, fuck you. Um, you know, for that particular issue. I mean, yeah, I could... Get, a, get along with you, great on everything, but on that issue, man, I'm, I'm going to just say fuck you. Because <laughs> to me, that's full of shit. But I, I love the challenge in music of creating something that is different, but still has enough hooks that people still listen and they're like, well, well th this song is different, but... I still get it somehow, because a lot of music, there's a lot of music out there, uh, like especially like in prog rock, that it's like being complex for the sake of being complex. It's not different for the sake of being different, no, it's complex for the sake of being complex. And it's just like, where's the, the feeling in this? Where, where is the feeling in the composition? And it's just all done so mathematically, you know? I mean, music is math, but you can be artistic about it, and you can also be very methodical. And there's a point when being methodical just goes a little far as far as I'm concerned, especially for something that's supposed to be about feelings and and the art of it, you know? But... Uh, so I, I like to try to figure out something that's different, fundamentally different, but is still catchy. It still has a bunch of hooks. Um, but it's been hard to, knowing that it's very unlikely that I'll be able to make myself anything in that regard, which was always the thing that would, would kind of drive me to do music earlier in my life. Hey, I can, I can make it. I can, yeah, no, no. I, I, you know, when I see what makes it, when I see what's on the radio, when I hear, see, when, when I hear what makes it, when I hear what's on the radio, I, I just get discouraged, just incredibly discouraged. It's just like, well, this is the sound that's popular. And these are the techniques that are popular. And, you you go to even go to clubs or you stand outside clubs to just to hear what kind of music they're playing and it's just like wow that's what's important of course in that regard at a club there's always a certain element of you know is it danceable but i i don't have any of that my my window of opportunity to to be the in that in that place was probably in the late 90s that was my window of opportunity and it, I just didn't know enough about the industry. Just didn't know about what I need, really needed to do to make it. So, you know, in the same way that I failed that Business 101 class, I, uh, you know, kind of failed at the whole music uh, industry business side of things so sometimes I feel like a has been that never really was it just gets depressing sometimes um and I, I just I guess I need I, I need more inspiration so but I've really really digressed People that tend to take a very creative approach and not a very traditional approach, I think would tend to, you know, in the political spectrum here in the United States, you know, they would tend to go towards uh, Democratic, Democrats, 
And if uh, someone does use a lot of tradition and memorization and do this the right way, um, then uh, they would tilt towards the right. They would tilt towards being Republicans. Neither one way is, is really better than another when it comes to uh, how you live your personal life. The problem comes into place with how you're going to claim other people should be living their lives. There has been a lot, uh, on the left, there has been a lot of getting in the way of people living their lives. Whereas earlier it used to be you know, the right wing that we had to worry about that the most. Now it's it hasn't really been that, and it's the left declaring that using sometimes illegitimate uh, sociological studies or uh, they'll take little pieces of it so they can claim that that science behind them is behind them and they'll they'll use this to b basically you know, verbally beat people over the head and cl claim that they're stupid for not looking at these things through sociological uh, uh, viewpoints and buzzwords and all of that stuff and people will use the word privilege as a pejorative continually and push guilt and blame and hatred and fear you know i don't like what the left has become but i do can still consider myself on the left and then as i said in the last video i understand why the left has become this way though when people are shown how potentially happy they can be the idea of something coming in and stepping all over that is very threatening. There has been a rise in, I, I don't know, I mean, every time I try to think, say some label for it, someone gets all over my cage. Well, you know, we're not all that way. How the hell am I supposed to discuss this? There has been a rise in uh, intolerance of people with different lifestyles. There has been a rise in intolerance against black people. There's been a, a rise in intolerance towards women. There's been a rise in intolerance towards gay people. There's been a rise in intolerance just all around. And when you have that rise in intolerance, and then you have someone running for president who seems more than happy to spread similar intolerance that's fucking scary that's it's fucking terrifying and out of anything out there it gives me the fight or flight feeling more than anything out there is something is is a is a force uh consisting of people people who have power basically clamping down and saying well um, you've enjoyed life t for too long, and now it's time for your demographic to have it more difficult, to not really have an equal chance to enjoy life anymore, because those in the majority should decide how everyone else lives. People are fighting against that feeling, and a lot of people take it way too far. A lot of people on the left take it way too far, you know? You can't demand acceptance. Okay, it doesn't work. It, 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 it will fail. You have to accept me. And I know that was probably a little distorted, but whatever, you know. No, people don't have to. And the more you demand it, the less they'll accept you. We've, we've come so far. We don't, we don't need this to all come crashing down. And some of you are like, well, you know, as long as it stops these people from, from doing this stuff, uh, I'm all for it. And you're like, do you realize what you're supporting? And I guess many of you don't. Many of you don't see what you're really supporting. 